Today I'm going to talk about drawing scales, what they mean and how they are used on drawings. First I'm going to explain what scale means and then I'm going to show you a few examples so it will make sense. Scale is the ratio of linear dimension of an element represented in the drawing to the real linear dimension of the same element itself. That sounds confusing, however when you see the examples you will understand what it means. Scales can be categorized into three types, full scale, enlargement scales and reduction scales. As you can see here, I put them in a table. Full scale is one to one. In this example, we've drawn the element to full scale. The actual element itself is a five centimeter by five centimeter square. And if we measure this, you can see it is five centimeter this side and five centimeter this side. That means it's a full scale, also known as one-to-one -one scale. The second type is enlargement scales. So if you look at this two-to-one, that means whatever the unit we are using, two units are representing one unit of the actual element. This is the same element we were looking at before, but drawn to two-to-one scale. If it was drawn to one to one scale it looks like this if the same element is drawn to two to one scale then it will look like this if we measure these legs they should be 10 centimeters because the actual element is five centimeters and we have drawn to two to one scale you can see that this leg is 10 centimeters and this leg is 10 centimeters so this is a drawing drawn to two to one scale. The third type is reduction scales. In this case, we are reducing the size on the drawing by using a reduction scale. This is the same element we looked at before, but drawn to one to two scale. If it is drawn correctly, each leg should be two and a half centimeters. You can see that this leg is two and a half centimeters. This leg is two and a half centimeters. You can see that the original element is this big and when you use a reduction scale it will look like this. And let's compare the enlargement scale again. This is the original element. This is a drawing of the original element drawn with an enlarged scale. These are set of recommended scales. You can see they are 50 to 1, 20 to 1, 10 to 1, etc. for enlargement scales and 1 to 2, 1 to 5, 1 to 10, 1 to 20, etc. for reduction scales. The complete designation of a scale should be written with the word scale followed by the indication of its ratio. As an example, we can write scale 1 to 10. If there is no likelihood of misunderstanding, you can obviously get rid of the word scale. However, you should remember the complete designation should have the word scale followed by the actual scale notation. Also, one important thing I would like to highlight is the scale of a print may be different from that of the original drawing. As an example, this drawing was scaled to 2 to 1 and it is meant to be printed on A4 size paper. However, if you print the same drawing on a smaller paper by shrinking it, this wouldn't look like this. It would look smaller and it will misrepresent. So whenever you have the scale, it is critical that you print on the correct paper without shrinking the drawing. That's all for today. If you have any questions about scales, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel.